So right now we're going to discuss pricing because truly this is the biggest pro for lab grown diamonds. So pricing for lab grown diamonds, unfortunately it hasn't been around long enough to kind of be regulated like natural diamond prices are. So you'll see, and I've had this experience with a lot of clients that they'll email me and they'll say, hey, um, I saw this diamond and the same diamond was on one website for 10,000 and on another for eight and on another for 13. And I don't know, I just, I don't understand why that is. And reason being is because lab grown diamonds are so new, there's not really kind of a baseline price for them like natural diamonds since natural diamonds have been around for hundreds, thousands of years in terms of sales now. The nice thing about lab grown diamonds is that you're truly getting your bang for your buck in terms of aesthetic and look. Okay, so usually um, lab grown diamonds are going to be a fraction of the price of a natural diamond. And here we have two great examples. So on the left, we have a natural five carat VVS1 eye color diamond. And then on the right, we have a lab grown six carat VVS1 H color. Now, for those of you that don't know the diamond clarity and color scale, VVS1 is about as nice of a diamond as you're gonna find. There are some that are con considered internally flawless and flawless, but those are kind of rare. You don't see those too much, uh, whether it's lab grown or natural. And then in terms of color, these are both have a little bit of color to them, which is, you know, all right for the size and the clarity, they're beautiful stones regardless. Um, but let's talk about pricing. So again, left is natural, right is lab grown. So the lab grown on your right, beautiful, a little bit bigger, and you think, well, it's bigger, so you know maybe there's gonna be a close price difference. So this lab-grown diamond here on the left, a little bit larger, six carats again versus five carats, but it's lab-grown, so it retails for 25,000. Where on your left, this is a natural diamond, five carats, VVS1, same clarity, um, pretty similar color, but because this is natural, again, much harder to find, you can't grow this in a chamber, this is a little bit over 120,000. So when we look at the price difference, it is absolutely insane. We're talking about essentially a fifth of the price. Um, and you get a little bit larger look um, on the lab room. And what's crazy about it is they're both the same. Um, you can heat both of them up. There, there's really no molecularly, there is no difference between the two. All right, so let's talk about the pros with lab grown diamonds. Again, we've discussed pricing. Um, as you can see, it's a fifth, sometimes a tenth, it just depends. The larger the lab grown diamond, the more of a discount you get percentage wise um, with smaller diamonds, because again, you have to think regardless of whether it's grown in a chamber or mined naturally, somebody, some diamond cutter somewhere has to sit and cut that diamond to that beautiful diamond that we get as the final product. Um, they don't just grow beautifully, they grow as rough diamonds and then they're cut into the final product. And so the labor is the same versus whether it's natural or lab grown. So pros are price, availability, which is nice. A lot of times, for instance, last summer, we were looking for a seven carat a natural emerald cut diamond for a client. And it took, a, it took us six to eight months to find this diamond uh, because there are just not many of them for sale naturally in the entire world at one time. Usually there's maybe two, three or four when we get into larger sizes for sale at one time. While with lab grown diamonds, they're usually almost always available because remember lab grown diamonds are taking weeks to months to be grown and they're always gonna continue to be grown. There's not gonna be any shortage of lab grown diamonds. And just a little interesting side note. So a few years ago when COVID was happening and you know there was a shortage of um, work everywhere essentially where people couldn't go out. Um, it's amazing how that's essentially what boosted lab grown diamonds to be what they are today um, because there were starting to be shortages and then with the whole Ukraine situation and um, the US imposing 
restrictions on Russian goods and Russia controlling a large part of the natural diamond market. So lab-grown diamonds started to become much, much more popular. And we actually saw a shift in the diamond industry with diamond cutters focusing more on lab-grown diamonds for that time being the natural diamonds. So it's very interesting how the jewelry industry itself is shifting towards lab-grown diamonds, at least for the time being. We'll see what happens in the future. Now let's go over the cons for lab-grown diamonds. There's a few cons, and I'm sure you've guessed it. You probably know this by now. If you can grow something in an infinite amount, then there's not that much rarity to it. And so that's the biggest drawback that lab-grown diamonds have is that they're not rare. So what happens is there's really no resale market. And why I say that is they're so new, the industry is just still not as familiar with them. And there, you're not gonna find many jewelers that are or pawn shops or online places, wherever you can look, uh, that are going to be willing to buy back a lab-grown diamond. And something to consider is that as time goes on, the lab-grown diamond prices are going to continue to drop. Because again, the more there is of something, it's very simple. It's something that we discuss here on a Jewelers Live channel all the time. With commodities, it's all about the rarity, the supply and demand. If the supply is out there and there's an infinite, essentially an infinite supply of lab-grown diamonds, there is nothing that is holding that price up. And so over time, you will see that the diamond, the lab-grown diamond that you may have purchased for three, four thousand dollars, um, that same one will be sold a year or two later for maybe um, thirty percent less, forty percent less. Um, essentially, we saw this when lab-grown diamonds first came out in the industry, where they were at first 15% less than natural diamonds, then 30% less, then 40% less. And now, you know, some of them are even 90% less than, than natural diamonds. So it's something that over time we're going to continue to see. And it'll be interesting to see eventually. A lot of jewelers think that it'll be, hey, come and buy this chain from us and we'll throw in a free lab-grown diamond eventually if the, if the supply continues to increase the way that it is. So ultimately... Lab-grown diamonds, they don't hold their value long-term, but if you're looking for something to hold its value long-term, go and buy a Rolex. Go and buy some gold and silver, go and buy stocks, diamonds, unless you're buying a 10 karat natural million dollar diamond, aren't going to hold their value long-term. They may hold half of their value, a third of their value, something like that, but that's not why you buy diamonds. You buy diamonds to commemorate the special moments in your life. And that's what lab-grown diamonds help you do um, at a, a fraction of the cost of a natural diamond. And at the end of the day, like I always say, it's up to you. You figure out what's best for you, what's best for your financial situation, what's best for your long term. Do you want something to hold its value? Do you not? Do you care about that? If you don't, then don't worry about it. If you do, the natural's there. Um, here, personally, at the Diamond Gallery, I offer both options, and it's really up to you. Diamond, uh, lab-grown diamonds have become very popular here as of late, but I'll let my customers choose because we're here to provide a service and to provide products for you, not to force you to buy what I think is the right option. Thank you again for tuning in. Remember to subscribe, share. If you have any more questions about lab-grown diamonds, let us know. Eventually, we want to take you guys on a little bit of a field trip to a lab-grown diamond chamber and show you exactly what that looks like in person. So again, thank you for tuning in today and remember to subscribe and share.